telefone. It was bit early cold. It had been a cold winter. The bay, I could see it from my window, was frozen over for a dozen miles east and west, and 30, north and south. And that had not happened in close to a score of years. Bitterly cold and steadily cold, and deep snow lay upon the hills, blue white in the distance. The evergreens were blue black blotches on this whiteness. The birches, almost indistinguishable, were like trees in camouflage. To me, the hills are never so grand as in this winter coat they wear. It is easy to believe that a brooding god dwells upon them. I wondered as I played my way down to his and Kinch's farm whether God did indeed dwell among the hills, and I wonder what he thought of his and Kinch. This was no new matter of thought with me. I had given some thought to his in the past. I was interested in the man and in that which should come to him. He was, it seemed to me, a problem in fundamental ethics. He was, as matters stood, a demonstration of the essential uprightness of things as they are. A deviation from type, a violation of all the proper laws of life. That such a man should live and grow great and prosper was not fitting. In a well-ordered world, it should not be. Yet, Hazen Kinch did live. He had grown, in a small way, great. He was a big, fat old man with meager whiskers in the curious precision of speech. He thinks that the world was created for his benefit. The countryside said he had taken his wife in payment of a bad debt. Her father had owed him money, which he could not pay. Where's your father? Father, the man letter is here! Good morning, Mr. Hitch. I didn't think he would come. You didn't expect? Well, your interest is true. I need your payments now. But I have no money. You must stay. I have a lot of expenses. I... In prison you will see if you won't pay me. Father, what's happening? What do you think you're doing with my father? You play me. Then you can serve at your payment. No, anything but not my daughter. You can do anything now. Wait, no. Let her go. Let her go. No. Let her go. No. Hazen Kinch had a child, a baby boy, not yet two years old. It is an ugly thing to say, but I hated this child. There was evil malevolence in his baby eyes. Also, he was deformed, a twisted leg. The woman of the neighborhood sometimes said he would be better dead. It will snow. I didn't think it would snow. No? A man would think you were a personal manager of the weather. <laughs> Why do you say it will snow? The trip was so loud, and it's warmer. <laughs> I'm not having snowy. Open the door. Come in. You will be a cop. I 
hot drink. What do you want? Coffee or tea? Anything. Oh, you're already here. Stand away. Leave him alone. Thank you. A fine boy. Yes, ma'am. Pay him well. 